Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Master Luke here, and welcome back to another episode of Undertale on Nintendo Switch. Uh, do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. <laughs> then why did you ask us what we wanted? Anyways, on the last episode, we completed the tutorial area, and now we're here at Toriel's house. Uh, I thought you might, uh, we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on the snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your very own. I hope you like it. Is something burning? Uh, make yourself at home. <laughs> How nice. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Okay. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Alright, let's check out the other rooms. Okay, nothing. Well. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. Interesting. Room under renovations. Okay, well, we're not going in there. What a nice house. Except it's very yellow. Uh, let's go check everything out. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. And the stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. For some reason, there's a brand named chocolate bar in the fridge. Okay. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There's so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a uh, curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you uh, living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Uh, nothing. When can I? <laughs> when can I go home? What? This? This is your home now. Would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Uh, how to exit the ruins. How about an exciting snail fact? <laughs> Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a rat... radula? Interesting. I have to do something. Stay here. Man, I feel bad because it's obvious that she doesn't want us to leave. And like very quickly is like you're you're my son now uh, you wish to know how to return home do you not ahead of us lies the end of the ruins a one-way exit to the rest of the underground I'm going to destroy it no one will ever be able to leave again now be a good child and go upstairs no every human that falls down here meets the same fate I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. No, no mother, we must escape. Do not try to stop me, this is your final warning. You want to leave so badly. You're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. What? Toriel blocks the way. All right, so she's gonna battle us. Uh. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. What about snails? Clearly she likes snails. Oh God, uh. T wait, what is it? Toriel looks through, through you. You tried to think of something to say again, but... Uh, okay, just survive! Oh, jeez. Toriel looks through you. Ironically, talking does not seem to be solution to this situation. Uh... No! 
What's the solution then? Toy knife, pie. Uh, I feel like that's that's not true though. Toriel prepares a magic attack. I don't care. I'm still talking. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, the, it's like... I just realized... She's not actually fighting me anymore. See, look at this. I'm not even doing anything. They actually, uh... Nothing. Yeah, see, it's it's not even it's not even coming after my heart because I only. See, I could even try to run into it and they they go away. Three lines of nothing. Toriel is acting aloof. <laughs> huh? Good thing, too, because I only have 2 HP, so. What are you doing? Hmm. Attack or run away? I don't want to run away, though. Maybe now we can talk to her? Oh, okay, no, no that's not it. What are you proving this way? That we can beat this entire game and not fight a single person. Toriel takes a deep breath. Fight me or leave. Stop it. No! Stop looking at me that way. Look, you said you wanted us to prove how strong we were. Go away. <laughs> I was just going through the two to Do I have do I actually have to run away then? I know you want to go home, but but please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? I want to go home! Please, go upstairs. Haha. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However... When you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Goodbye, my child. No! <laughs> I don't want to leave now. But I have to. <sighs> Alright, here we go. We're leaving the ruins. There's no music. It's so quiet. And I can only move. I can only move so far. With a with a sprite game like this, I'm I'm glad the. Hold up. I was I was about to say I'm glad the flooring sh uh, changes color so you know you're you're actually walking forward. Uh. I I don't know about this.
clever, very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So were you able to play, uh, you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. Hee 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 I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, uh, you'll die and you'll die and you'll die. Until you're tired of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. God, I don't like that. I don't like that laugh, man. Oh, he leaves. Oh, okay. All right, I guess this is where the actual game starts. Undertale. Trademarked. <laughs> By Toby Fox. Definitely spooky. Okay. Alright, I, yeah, <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> okay. Wait, whoa, 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 there was something, there was something behind me for sure. Hold up. It's probably going to show up when I pass this. No. Is this, oh my god, is this game full with jump scares? I really hope it's not. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> it's Sans. <laughs> what? Oh, man. The old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. <laughs> it's always funny. Anyways. You're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be uh, on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. So now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bards too wide for anybody to stop, <laughs> to stop anyone. <laughs> Quick behind that conveniently shaped lamp oh my god it <laughs> matches perfectly <laughs> sup bro you know what's you know what's up brother it's been eight days you still haven't uh, recalibrated your puzzles you just hang around outside your station what are you even doing staring at this lamp it's really cool don't you want to look no I don't have time for that what if a human comes through here I want to be ready I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then, I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things utterly to serve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. <laughs> Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping. You lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. And you get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. <laughs> oh my god. Sans! Come on. You're smiling. I am and I hate it. <sighs> Why does somebody as great as me have to do so much to get some recognition? I love this theme too, by the way. Dun, 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 Wow, really sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. Bro, <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Oh, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, you can come out now. <laughs> this, the, the 
this the humor in this game is is honestly perfect i love it so much oh uh, you ought to get going he might come back and if he does you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes uh actually hey hate to bother you but can you do me a favor i was thinking my brother's been kind of down lately he's never seen a human before and seeing you might just make his day don't worry he's not dangerous even if he tries to be thanks a million i'll be up ahead it's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station but there are bottles of ketchup mustard and relish sitting inside bro that's a hot dog stand uh the woods are a lot less scary now the convenience uh, of that lamp still fills you with determination. Snowed in, box road. Okay. Uh, this is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Uh, use the box. Tough glove. Snowdrake flutters forth. Uh, let's tell it a joke. You made a nice, bad ice pun. Is that supposed to be funny? <laughs> oh, da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. nope. Okay, they're going slow enough. Uh, heckle. You boo the snowdrake. Is your flesh, is your flesh rotten as you? Oh, da -ba -da -ba -ba. You laugh at Snowdrake before it says anything funny. What are you laughing at? Snowdrake is assessing the crowd. Uh, now we'll tell it a joke. Ha <laughs> ha, nice try. I've heard something. I've heard better, maybe. Do we just keep telling it? Is smiling at its own bad jokes. <laughs> Whoa! You tell the Snowdrake that no one will ever love them the way they are. They struggle to make a retort and sink away, utterly crushed. What? <laughs> That's so sad. No, not even your own mother loves you. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in. Yeah. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird-looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. What? Why not? Nobody picked up. Aw, Toriel doesn't even call us anymore. You send the line back out. Oh, okay. All right, well, put the line back out. So, as I was saying about Undyne... <laughs> well then... Sans- OH MY GOD IS THAT A- A HUMAN?! Uh... Actually, I think that's a rock. <laughs> oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undyne will- I'm gonna- I'll be so popular! Popular, popular! Him. Human! You shall not pass this area! I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you! I will then capture you! You'll be delivered to the capital! Then, then... I'm- I'm not sure what's next. Uh, in any case... Continue, only if you dare! Yeah! <laughs> Well, that went well. Eh, don't sweat it. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. There's another hot dog stand? There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observed the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this? You ponder. I bet it was a very famous royal guardsman. No, not yet a fam very famous royal guardsman. Ice cap, struts into view. Uh, steel? It was just ignore him. You manage to tear your eyes away from Icap's hat. It looks annoyed. What? What are you doing? Oh! Oh, it's just like fire. Oh, they coming back down. Okay. 
Ice <laughs> Icecap is secretly checking if you're looking at its hat. Nope. You continue. We're not, we're not looking. It seems defeated. Fine. I don't care. Oh. Da -ba -ba -ba. Oh. All we had to do was ignore its ignore its fabulous hat. Absolutely no moving. I feel like moving. Did something move? What's in my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggo blocks the way. Uh, I almost don't want to even move on the menu because I'm afraid that's gonna... It's gonna see that. Uh... Yeah, oh, we have to pet the doggo. I'm sorry. I know it doesn't want us to move, but we have to pet him. It's too suspicious of your movements. Don't move an inch. Doggo can't seem to find anything. You pet doggo. What? I've been pet? Don't move. Doggo has been pet. <laughs> Pet him again! Pet doggo. Where is that coming from? Pat, pot, pat, pat, hmm? Oh. And you won. And we got 30 gold. Something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Someone's been smoking. Smoking dog treats? Okay. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. <laughs> oh, no! I want to read the sign. Okay, we have to go there. North ice, south ice, west ice, east Snowden Town, and ice. <laughs> well, that's not a very helpful sign now, is it? Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please take a piece of me and bring it to very far away. Thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. All right. You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called uh, sleeping. Excuses, excuses. Ho ho, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Hold this, please. Okay, try now. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved so easily, too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be so easily. It is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. Yeah. Oh, dude. Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago from a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? I don't understand why there aren't selling. Uh, it's perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer. Uh, hello, would you like some nice cream? It's a frozen treat that warms your heart. 
Now just 15 gold. Uh, yes. Here you go. Have some. Have a super duper day. You got the ice cream. I feel like kicking the snow all around. I've, is this part of the puzzle? I don't know. I'm going to talk to Sans here first. I've been thinking about selling treats, too. Want some fried snow? It's just five gold. Did I say five gold? I meant 50 gold. Uh, sure. Really? How about no? I have to pay for the raw material somehow. You're right. I should just charge way more than that. <laughs> Ugh. Well, there's a hole. It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. <sighs> snow decahedron. How nice. Alright, is this like a golfing minigame? Do we have to get it into the hole down there? No! Come on. We're better at golf than this. Go down! And... No! Alright, hold up. Oh, it got so tiny! No! Is it melting? Oh, it's gone. Alright, so I guess we have a time time limit on... To get it down here. Oh, come on! <laughs> Oof! Come on, go! No! We're making, like, zero progress here. Oh, this is... Mm, no! Dang it. Alright, let's try that again. Get it this time. Alright. There we go. Angle it. Oh. Nope, wrong, wrong angle. There we go. And straight down. Oh, nope. And straight across. Now down. No! Don't disappear. No! We're so close! Come on! Go in the hole! <gasps> yeah! There we go. Purple, even when you felt trapped. You took notes and achieved the end of ball. You're awarded two gold. All that for some two gold. This flag has nothing else to offer. <laughs> okay. uh, there's a camera hidden inside of this lump of snow. Why, is there, why would there be a camera there? Alright, let's see what's dead. Oh! Human! I hope you're ready for... Sans, where's the puddle? It's right there. On the ground. Trust me. There's no way they can get past this one. Oh my god. Monster Kids Word Search. <laughs> can you solve this puzzle? Uh, something I will... What? Pixel... No. How do I, how do, I do this? Sans, that didn't do anything. Oh. Whoops, I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is the easiest, easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? That's easy peasy word scramble. That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder? Uh, I don't know what Jumble... Crosswords? Eh, uh, crosswords can be kind of hard. You two are weird. Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I just fill all the boxes with the letter Z. Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore. <laughs> oh, man. All right, I'm actually going to go check out that other room because we passed that up and didn't do anything over there. 
Oh, it's just this. His. Smell danger rating. Snow smell. Snowman. White rating. Uh, can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell. Puppy blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell. Human green rating. Destroy all at once. Hers. Okay. That's all that was. Monster Kids Word Search. What a great puzzle. Alright, it's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy this spaghetti. Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap. Designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it, that you won't realize you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. Yeah! It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. All the settings are, say spaghetti. Well, now isn't that... Hilarious. Uh, alright. Knowing the mouse might be one day... <laughs> find a way to heat up the spaghetti. It fills you with determination. Alright. This is where we're gonna end episode 2. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this uh, episode, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.